days in a row. Um, and and that could be anywhere in the country. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay. So how how do home time work? Like, I mean, do I get so right now? We're doing a twenty. We're doing a twenty four day on, eight day off schedule. You travel on your first and last day off, um, and generally, every once in a while, depending on where you live and if you're working in your area, we may backhaul you. But generally, with the price of fuel and everything, now we're going to fly you to the closest major airport. Um, You'll take your home time, and then we'll fly you back to your unit. Nobody's getting in your unit while you're away. Oh, okay. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. Hey, Lonnie, how you doing? Uh, you you are the recruiter for uh, co- what is it called? Coastal Plains, right? Coastal Plains, yes, sir. Okay, awesome, awesome. The young lady from the, I guess, from the office uh, forwarded me to you. Okay, um, so I got your number from a friend of mine. Um, you guys run tanks, tankers? 100% tanker, yep. Okay, so what I, what I need my hazmat to, to run with you guys? So if we, we can hire you as a nitrogen driver um, without your hazmat. But you would have to get a hazmat. We give you ninety days to get it. So, so our cryogenic drivers. You know, we haul all the cryogenic. So we haul nitrogen, oxygen, CO two, and argon. So we want our drivers to be able to do it all. So we we can keep you busy with nitrogen. But you would we would want you to get a hazmat. There'd be there would be no option around not getting a hazmat. Okay, cool. Let let me ask you a question because I already have my tankers and I, I'm I'm in the midst of getting my hazmat but would you guys uh would you guys help me along like would you guys help pay for my hazmat or would it be yeah, so what we do we'll, if, if you don't have a hazmat when you come to work for us and you get it within that first 90 days after you have worked you know after you've had that hazmat for 90 days we'll we'll reimburse you for it okay 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 um now let me ask you this: Do you have tanker experience? You got a tanker endorsement. Do you have any tanker driving experience? I, you know what the 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 small company that I work for out of Ohio had uh, had a few tankers. So yes, I you know I drove. I you know I didn't exclusively drive them, but if they needed to be moved or needed to get loaded or anything like that, I you know I was there to you know get a little bit of experience with it. So. So, so our our requirement is two years of tractor trailer driving experience and at least one year of tanker. That's that's kind of what what safety wants for that position. How much total tanker? I mean, how long? Well, are you with to, that well total like, well total time. I, I got seven years of experience, and of course, I've been with that small. Uh, I've been with the small company out of Ohio for about a year and a half. But within that, that year, year and a half, yeah, within that year, yeah, once a week. Or? Uh, I would say I would drove. I say throughout my whole duration there, I would say about a total of ten times. About a total of ten times. Okay, so once a month. Yeah, so we we might be able to accept that. What, what, what kind of tanker? What what were you hauling in your tanker? Uh, full grade products. Um, milk. Nice like oils and stuff. Oh, milk. Okay, yeah. milk. You were hauling on baffles. Hold on, where did that buy me again? You, you, that was a, it milk's usually an unbaffled trailer. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah it doesn't have baffles in it to slow the sway, so you get full sway when you're oh, yeah. milk. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, oh okay, yeah. You that, you, you feel it? They, they want to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They want them to be comfortable with sway because you know it 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 will it, it will make you uh. Yeah. It will make your stomach turn the first few times you feel it. Yeah, exactly. And and driving a tanker, of course, you know, is, is totally different from driving uh drive ins and stuff like that. You you really gotta take those oh, yeah. curves. you yeah, really gotta that's, take that's those curves. Works. You gotta take those curves with caution. So um okay. Absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. So about two years of experience, uh one year tanker, but you, you can't work with me all right um, yeah i mean so with, with what you're telling me i, I think i think i could it, it would be if if you clear up in every other way then i don't mind going to our uh vps and insurance and asking for an exemption awesome awesome well let well let's find uh let's find out what you guys got to offer i know you guys are out of uh out of a tech out of texas right 
So I will have to come down yeah. there. I of course I will have to come down there for orientation and everything. But I'm out of Ohio. Yeah, we do that in Baytown, Texas. Oh, okay. I'm familiar yeah, with we, it. That, that's fine. We, we hire drivers from all over the country. We, we've had drivers from New York, Montana, Wyoming, California. Awesome. I mean, we, we hire drivers from everywhere. So it doesn't matter where you're from as long as it's the lower 48. Okay. Okay. So what will be my lanes then? Uh, would I be able to run all lanes? Would I be able to take the truck home? Would I be yeah. able to run Canada? That's a lot of questions. So no Canada, we, we we don't we don't go in Canada. Um, the truck taken home generally with the business we're in. So cryogenics is very diverse. So we do everything from your oil and gas stuff, which is like frack jobs and pipeline jobs. We do refinery and plant work all over the Gulf Coast, and we do merchant delivery all over the country. All of our drivers go where the work is. So you you could be in. New Mexico for a month on a frag job. And after oh, that, okay. your next job could be up in Wisconsin. So, so we don't have any lanes. Everybody you're, you're on dispatch. And while you're on duty, you, you know, you go where you're dispatched, um, pays very well. Our average, average cryogenic driver, once they get broke out, grosses about 2,200 a week. Top drivers, it's not uncommon to see over 3,000 a week. Awesome. What they're doing. So let me ask you this. What so, doing. so the, the, uh, the way you got things set up down there, what I get paid, what so I'm not getting paid by the mile. I, it sounds like I'm getting like a guarantee yeah, type pay. You are. Oh, I am getting well, paid so by the mile. Oh, okay. It's, it's a trifecta. So orientation and training pays twenty four dollars an hour. Um, once you break out, once you once you're a, once we certify you, you're you're confident, confident and comfortable. Our trainers confident and comfortable when we send you out on dispatch. You pick up a 65 cent per mile rate. That's hub miles. Doesn't matter if you're loaded. Doesn't matter if you're empty. Doesn't matter if you're bobtailing. If your hubs are turning, you're getting 65 cents a mile. You keep that $24 hourly rate for when you are loading the truck or offloading the truck or pre-trip, post-trip. Anytime you're working but the hubs aren't turning, you get that $24 an hour rate. And the job has a $1,600 a week guarantee for when you're working. If if we cannot provide you at least $1,600 worth of work, we'll make that difference up. I don't think we paid it out one time last year to one driver. We're, we're slammed busy. So okay. it, it's a nice, it's a nice safety net in case you ever need it, but I don't, I don't think you'll ever need it. Right. Okay. <clears throat> what about, uh, what about pre-employment drug screening? Do you guys do hair follicles or urine or both? Uh, we do just a DOT urine. All right. Uh, well, we already said about mileage pay. Um, what are you, so what are the trucks governed? And if so, what are they governed at? Right now, I think they're governed at about 77. Uh, okay. they're talking about bumping that down a little bit. Uh oh, um, no, yeah. Um, no. so we just, we just got some heavy footed drivers and, um, uh, so we don't allow speeding. That's one of the things right. we don't tolerate. We don't, we want our professional truck drivers to maintain their speed. Um, so, but the speed limit I down in Texas, make, the speed limit down in Texas is 75 to 80 though, right? Yeah, there's spots. Yeah. There's also a lot of spots that are 55, 40, you know, yeah, we, those, we go those through little, spots, yeah. Yeah, so. trust me. I, I've been yeah, through all so. those little, those, those small towns that your speed limit is 75 at one point, And then. You got, you got, uh, you got <laughs> Jack, you got Jack, later. right. You got Jack Law right there at the corner where it says 55, <laughs> you know, right, and they'd be right. like, That's yeah, it. did you see that 55 sign, that, that 55 sign down the way, sir? No, I I thought it was still 75, sir. No, it's 55. Yeah, well, <laughs> behind that billboard. Like Roscoe P. Cole train. Exactly, exactly, and that's how they are down in them small towns, man. Um, all right, so what kind of what, what what equipment do you run? Uh, the majority of our trucks are Kenworth T eight eighties, Eaton Fuller single split ten speed manual transmission. Um, our, our the new trucks were older and are peak because we couldn't get Kenworths, but since we've started in eleven, most everything we've ordered has been Kenworths. We buy everything brand new. Okay. So we're not dealing with other people's junk. Um, okay. now, we got good equipment. Now, now, what you was telling me a few minutes ago about how your dispatches work. So, like, for example, like, if I come off a of home time, I, you know, my, my driver manager would be like, well, hey, Sean, uh, I, got, uh, I got something up in Wyoming. You're going to be up there for a while. 
So that that's what probably how the dispatches will work, or is it like forced dispatch, or or is it like how you, how you mentioned it? Everybody uses a little bit different verbiage. It, it is pretty much forced dispatch for you to be eligible for the guarantee. You go where they send you, but yeah, we're not gonna. I mean, there's jobs we do that that you'll make multiple deliveries in a day. <clears throat> like if you're delivering nitrogen to uh, or not nitrogen, oxygen to hospitals, you may fill up three different hospitals tanks in one day. Um, and then there's frack work, there's spot work. There's, 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 it's just so diverse. You, you could be on a job, multiple deliveries in one day, or you could be on the same job, like a big frack job for 30 days in a row. Um, and, and that could be anywhere in the country. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So how, how do home time work? Like, I mean, do I get so right now we're doing a 20, we're doing a 24 day on eight day off schedule. You travel on your first and last day off. Um, and generally every once in a while, depending on where you live and if you're working in your area, we may backhaul you, but generally with the price of fuel and everything now, we're going to fly you to the closest major airport. Um, You'll take your home time, and then we'll fly you back to your unit. Nobody's getting in your unit while you're away. Oh, okay, okay, that'll work. Pet and rider policy? Well, no, I'm I'm going to assume no. No, so we do not have that yeah. because most of the facilities we go in would not allow them. Uh, uh, would not allow. They won't. They don't allow animals or or Riders. significant others. Okay, okay. Well, uh, do you guys? Now I know we talked about uh, you, we talked about the the drug testing, and which is you're in the DOT. But do you guys accept SEP drivers? So our policy on that is it has to be over five years old from from the last day of anything to do with the conviction so, or the, the failed test. So much for my friend. <laughs> uh, what about uh, what? You know, everything that you guys got to offer sounds real, real good, real, real promising. Uh, do you guys have any type of sign-on bonus? I'm going to assume no. We do. No, oh. we do. It's a 2,500 sign-on, stay-on. So after you work two weeks, you've earned your first 500. After you work six weeks, you earned your second 500. After you work 12 weeks, you get your third 500. Once you complete 24 weeks, the last 1,000 pays out. Generally, wow. those payments are going to be on the 15th of the month after you earn them. That's when we pay all of our bonuses on the 15th. So <clears throat> you earn it at two weeks, but it'll it'll be – sometimes it'll be the same month you earn it. Um, but mo seems like more often than not, it's the following month. Awesome. And We also have that for a referral program. So if you come on and you got to work for us to be eligible for it, but if you come on and you're working for us and you refer a driver and we hire them for OTR cryo um, – You'll get they'll, they'll get a sign on bonus. You'll get that same exact payout for a uh, referral bonus. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, I I do have uh, a large following in my Facebook group, so def I'll definitely take this information that you guys give me, and I'm going to definitely take it back to them because I I have a few uh, a few guys that you know we was just talking about tankers and hazmat and everything like that now a handful of them might not have the hazmat because i believe you got to renew your hazmat every four years if i'm not mistaken and sounds correct yeah yeah and a lot of drivers that i know don't want to go through the hassle of of all of that but i figure once you pass it the first time you you won't forget it it's like riding a bike right yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as passing the test, the problem is after nine eleven, they the FBI got involved. So now you go through an FBI background check, a lot, a lot of fingerprints, all that. It's just, it's just a hat. You said it. It's just a hassle. It's a hassle, and it's a waiting game. So it's mm -hmm. not hard. Um, it's just, you know, it just takes time to where you tanker. You study for that. You go take it. They and you pass it. They pop your endorsement on your license that day. Right. The hazmat just takes a little more time and. You know, fingerprints are a pain in the butt. Just all that stuff's a pain in the butt. That's what it boils down to. Exactly. Well, hey, thank you very much for the information, man. Like I said, this is something that I'm gonna definitely think a little bit more on because I do wanna, I I do wanna further, you know, further my career as far as tankers go because you know I know I know all about my other divisions. I did flatbed. I did van reefer. You know, my tankers, I just haven't did, you know, hazmat. 
You know what I'm you saying? You haven't had a so, straight tanker job yet, man. Exactly, um, exactly. If you decide you want to do it, um, give me a call. I'll shoot you a link to fill out our app. Um, and then, you know, I'll run your screens. And I generally have orientations uh, on Wednesdays. I don't think we're having one next week. But we might possibly have one week after our managers got to go look over a job in Denver, Colorado. So okay. <laughs> it, it may be a week or so before he gets back. But, like, I, I can get someone cleared up really quickly. Coastal Plains. This is a full tanker hazmat job, driving job. Uh, very interesting on how they dispatch you out. You you will be out for maybe like a month or so, and then you will be home for at least a couple of weeks before you get your next dispatch. Drivers can earn up to close to like 90K, 90K. And if you push it, if you push it just a little, you might just hit that 100K mark with this company. Uh, straight hazmat. So you got to have, if you don't have your hazmat, they will help you get it. But you definitely got to have your tankers with that said, you got to at least have a year of tanker driving, straight year of tanker driving, okay? Uh, within that year, you got to have at least two years of, you know, of driving, of course. But with the tankers, you definitely going to have to have two years. I mean, uh, definitely going to have to have a year. So, yeah, yeah, good call. Good call, good information. Um, they they don't have lanes up in California, I mean, up in Canada, but they do have, like, certain areas where you will be out for a while. Uh, this, is what they, this is what they offer as far as benefits goes. Competitive pay packages bi-weekly through direct deposits. So you're not getting paid weekly. You're getting paid bi-weekly, but those checks will probably be pretty good for a person that don't have no responsibilities. 401k match, medical insurance, vision insurance, dental insurance, short-term insurance, all other insurance, paid orientation, paid training, five days on, two days off schedule. But as, as you guys already heard, you will probably be on a little bit more and be off a little bit more. You have a safety bonus, a yearly bonus, and the responsibilities, re, I mean, includes driving and operating company equipment, follow all DOT laws, follow all companies' procedures and guidelines, maintain appropriate driver's license, maintain truck cleanliness, and all other functions directed by the supervisor. Is this a company good for you? I think it is. I like the call. The gentleman was very straightforward. Again, he wants you to make sure that you have your tanker off the rip, and then they will help you within the 90 days of getting your hazmat, okay? Uh, definitely got to have a good background, and unfortunately for SAP drivers, this is one of the companies that, you know, your SAP has to be, Five years, it's, I mean, uh, it's off. So, sorry about that. Drivers, if any driver has worked for, uh, if any drivers have drove for coastal planes or driven for coastal planes, let us know of your experience in the comments below. All right? Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?